So over here you can see that I got an entitled new document. So if I were to type in welcome to tutor 2 right here, I can go around and go to file, save this and on my location, I can just go around and save it as a file um, that I want to. So I'm just going to go around and save it. Now what happens is that it is saved out as file.txt. But what I want to do is I want to create a copy of the file right here. So I'm, I'm going to go around and make some changes. I'm going to add in keep on learning. But if I were to go around over here and click on save, what happens is that it updates this file out itself. But let's say I want to create a copy of the file. Then what I can do is I can use the save as option. So I'm just going to go around, press double enter and type in keep on watching over here as well. So I typed in keep on watching. So now if I want to create a copy of the file and save it, I can go around over here on to file and click on save as. And once I do that, what happens is that it creates, um, it opens up the Explorer and window again, and you got save as, as an option. So on the file name, what you can do is you can type in something else like file two and click on save. And now what happens is that you got a copy of the file right here. So now you can see that this is file two. So if I were to make some changes, then what happens is that it gets saved out in file two itself and not in file one. So over here, if I were to click on save as again, I can save this as file three. I can choose the save as type as well. So I can choose other file types if I want to. And also I can define my own extension. Over here, if you want to set a particular encoding, so right now by default, it's UTF-8, but if you need other sort of encoding for some reason, there are different options like ANSI, that's UTF-16 LE, UTF-16BE, and there's UTF-8 with BOM uh, as well. So according to what format you want, you can save the file out as those formats over here as well. And that is how they will be saved out. And that is how you can use the save as option inside of Notepad. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.